Many of you may remember Sega's first official mascot, Opa Opa, from the classic game Fantasy Zone. Opa Opa was a cutesy little spaceship that fought off some strange invaders. After Opa Opa's retirement, Sega looked for a new mascot, and what they found was Mario, but with fists that can shatter rock. Alex Kidd had quite the successful career on the Sega Master System. He fought evil in many different locations, like Shinobi World, High Tech World, Miracle World, Embarked on a quest for the Lost Stars, and even rode BMX. Badly. After his Master System run, Sega made Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle for the Sega Genesis. This game was pretty terrible, although not nearly as bad as High Tech World. Ugh. Now Alex Kidd has a variety of power-ups, but the best one is the one we're gonna look at, the motorbike. Be sure to save up your cash because this beast is worth it. Once you've got this kick-ass power-up, prepare to destroy everything. Watch out for the red balls though, if you hit those, your bike explodes and you're walking for the rest of the level. Once you reach the end of the level, there's a gigantic wall of red balls and you're forced to lose your bike. Now, the Enchanted Castle also has the motorbike, but in order to get it, you have to not only spend 50 bucks, but you have to win a round of rock, paper, scissors. This can be extremely tedious and cost you a lot of money as everything is just completely randomly generated. Once you do get it though, it is pretty sweet. But nothing beats the destructive force as the original from Miracle World. In a game where your boss fights consist of best out of three rock, paper, scissor matches, Alex Kidd's motorbike gets the powered up seal of approval.